Hi, this is Abstract Jazz with URM, and you're tuned into another episode of Under the Radar. We're here today interviewing with Dolo Moretti. How you guys doing today? We don't speak that same language, keep my name up out your mouth I'm out to make it, you're out to fake it Life is like a movie, so yeah, I'll write it as I make it Man, that's right, you know that So Dolo, tell us, what kind of artist are you? Um, a versatile one, you know I just, um, I like to create a feel on the track And, you know, just try to enjoy it, basically I don't really go at, um, anything with like a full on mind state it's just kind of, you know, how I'm feeling at that point in time. How would you describe your rap style? Um, fun is the best way I can put it. You know, I like to um, give a little bit of a comedic kind of witty aspect to my raps rather than just straight up trying to just portray a story and then have just like an energy on the track. I'd rather, you know, people be able to enjoy what I'm saying instead of just, you know, listening to it and trying to take it for face value. And where were you raised? Um, I was raised in Parkville, which is a little bit outside of the city. Um, Northeast Baltimore, um, Towson area, stuff like that. And what was it like growing up? Um, it was okay. You know, um, my family didn't have much. You know, I was probably the lower end of a lot of people. You know, I grew up in suburbia, so you know, you got the keeping up with the Joneses aspect out there. And when it came to me, I seen a lot of people have certain things that I wished I had. And, um, you know, certain people I just didn't click with, whereas, you know, other people I did click with. And um, when it came to hip hop, it was um, a real big release for me because I didn't feel like a lot of people didn't know, you know, they didn't know much about hip hop. You know, a lot of people I grew up around, they listened to rock music and stuff like that, but they also listened to old school hip hop, some people. But um, it was, I took more to it, whereas I still felt like an outcast out there. So what kind of music did you listen to a lot out there? Everything. I mean, I've listened to like bluegrass music and stuff like that from like my grandparents. You know, my dad grew up listening to like, um, you know, the rock metal of the like 80s and stuff, but he also listened to like the Beastie Boys and stuff, which I grew up, I remember hearing them sometimes. Um, my mom also listened to like more of like the college rock type stuff, but she also, she was the one that actually bought me my first uh, hip hop CD. It was really funny because she's, uh, she's supportive of it, but she don't understand it. So it's, it's just funny looking back that she's the one that actually introduced me to the music style that I do. Yeah, she does. Um, she probably doesn't follow up with it as much as I'd say my grandmother. I'd say my grandmother's probably my biggest fan. She she uh, roots for me more than uh, a lot of people ever have. So it's always it's always funny hearing her uh, hearing my grandmother listening to my music right. is always it's it's great having you know a sixty year old woman listening to hip hop that grew up listening to like the Beatles and stuff. So you know it. it it's, it's always enjoyable when she's like rocking out to one of my songs and I'm like, dear God, I can't believe my grandmother's <laughs> listening to this right now. She loves it, so. What are some of your inspirations? Um, life. A lot of people will probably have idols and stuff, you know, life inspires me. Like I said, um, you know, I don't go into the booth, you know, trying to write a specific song about something. You know, if um, whatever how my day was, that couldn't, I could be writing a song, you know, popping bottles in the club that night because it's Friday night. Or it could be Monday where I had just a case of the Mondays. You know, I wrote a song about like, dang, why am I at work right now? It's a little cruddy, but you know, just living. So definitely life. Um, music wise, I'd say John Lennon. Just because like, you know, a lot of people don't really like the Beatles, I'd say. And John Lennon just like, he didn't care. He did what he wanted. It, it, at the end of the day, it didn't matter the paycheck, whatever. It was just what he wanted to do. And music, he pretty much would just say, you know. I think I heard in a movie one time, somebody quoted him and saying, you know, just if you give me an instrument, I'll get something out of it. You know, this is just what I do. What has been some of your standout moments? Um, couple of my standout moments. Um, 
I would say was probably the first time I ever went into a real studio. You know, I started out just recording stuff in my room and stuff. So, you know, going into a studio for the first time and standing in a booth kind of just made me feel like, wow, I kind of really want to do this stuff. You know, this is a whole experience in itself. Um, and another one is actually yesterday. I just signed my first record deal. Yeah, um, with um, an upstart label, Lathan Entertainment, out of DC. And they're distributed through Affluent Records up in New York. So hopefully some good stuff will come out of this. Um, it's pretty exciting, but I'm trying to keep a level head about it and just continue working as hard as I have been. What are some of your goals? Um, to make something of myself in life. You know, more than just working a regular job and just, you know, successful in money standards, you know. I'd like to be able to just look back on my life and say, wow, that's what I did. I didn't just, you know, stick to going to college, get a job, start a family and stuff. You know, I took a dream that most people aspire to do or, you know, can't comprehend and tried to achieve it and at least, you know, made my best attempt at doing it. All right. Thank you, Dolo Moretti. Tune in next week for new interviews every Sunday, only on Under the Radar. We all start somewhere. We're on the set of Sour City's video shoot, Sour Diesel. Scene one. Absolutely. About to be about to do the scene with him taking a shit. I just want to start. That's how it all started. Um. I'm constantly writing in my head. Like, I really, I rarely listen to the radio. So when I drive, I drive a lot working. I'm just.